in this tutorial we are going to discuss about a plasmid vector psc101 psc101 was the first cloning vector first cloning vector used in 1973 by herbert boyer and stanley norman Cohen. They demonstrated that a gene from a frog could be transferred into bacterial cells and then expressed by a bacterial cell. Uh, now the size of this plasmid vector is 8.7 kb. Let me just draw a diagram to illustrate its features. So. Uh, this plasmid have an origin of replication and uh, it contains a selectable marker which is the tetracycline resistant gene which means that uh, this gene is resistant to the antibiotic tetracycline. Now this tetracycline resistant gene have uh, restriction sites for three restriction enzymes which are HIND3, BAMH1, and cell 1 and outside of this tetracycline gene there is an uh, another recognition site for eco r1 a restriction endonuclease is a particular enzyme that recognizes a particular sequence on the dna and makes a cut over there so these enzymes will recognize the respective sequences uh, on their respective gene and will make a cut over there and these cuts will we will use to insert our dna now as we are discussing this topic because uh, we have to use this plasmid as a vector so the dna insert of our choice have to be inserted into this plasmid now if we insert the dna into the eco ri site this will leave the tetracycline uh, gene intact and functional. Therefore, the E. coli cells transformed by PSC101 becomes tetracycline resistant. So, this is the first case and in this case, the cells may be recombinant or non-recombinant. That is, the chances are that the DNA insert might have either integrated into the plasmid at the eco RA site or might have not. The second case we are discussing is that if we insert our DNA into the tetracycline resistant gene. So if we insert the DNA fragment into the restriction sites of uh, HIND3, BAMH1 or CELL1 uh, restriction sites which are present in this gene. Now if we do so it will lead to the disruption of the tetracycline gene and hence will make it non-functional. Therefore, the cells transformed by such a recombinant PSC101 are sensitive to tetracycline. If we insert uh, our DNA to the tetracycline resistant gene, our situation would be like this. Suppose this grey one is our uh, DNA insert. As we have inserted our DNA to the tetracycline resistant gene, this uh, uh, plasmid uh, will be, when we will insert this plasmid into the host, uh, that host will become sensitive to tetracycline. So in this way, we can uh, uh, distinguish between the recombinant ones and the non-recombinant ones. But we have a limitation here. It is that the non-transformed cells can also be tetracycline sensitive. Hence, they cannot be separated from those having the recombinant PSC101 plasmid. Therefore, the PSC101 does not permit a direct selection of cells containing the recombinant cells. So, there are several novel plasmid vectors uh, which were designed uh, to overcome these deficiencies including uh, PBR322 and PUC7 